optimism of opening day, Smitty. Every team is undefeated. I love it. Blue sky, a world of possibilities. You can feel the excitement, not just among the players, but the coaches and fans as well. A look at the Pelicans' starting group. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Zion and Valanchunas in the middle. And it's McCollum at point. Now here's Jones. Six to shoot. Ingram finds Valanchunas over Harris. That one rolls around and rims out. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Here's Wagner. Hits despite the tough D. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the neck. McCullum outside. Valanchuna sets a screen. Now here's McCullum. Tight defense on him. The shot's good. Shakes off the contact. CJ McCullum is a monster. And here's Wagner. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Out to Harris. Takes the three. Valanchunas with a rebound. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Well, Smitty Zion has shown he's a superstar in his short time. But it's all about staying on the floor for him. So many missed games earlier in his career, B.A. We know Zion is a game-changing force when he's good to go. The league is better off when he's healthy. Shoot two. down the first one. Unlike a lot of drafts, Grant, there wasn't a clear first overall pick in 2022 for the Magic. Yeah, but I do think they nailed it, taking Paolo Bancaro, a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro was rookie of the year, and he's certainly a player you can build around. Williamson hits them both. Certainly goes to the line a lot. A spot where Williamson would like to become more efficient. Bancaro outside. Shot clock at five. The three from Suggs. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And not wasting any time here. Suggs is quick on the draw off the catch. Williamson with a screen on Wagner. Here's Ingram. Count it. One for one to start the game. The Magic have gone two of three from the floor. Up top, Mancaro. On the wing, Suggs. Harris outside. And again, it's the magic from deep. And a smart feed from Suggs. The defense making it easy, leaving his teammate open. Now Ingram. In his last outing, he had 11 points over Ben Carroll, and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Ben Carroll. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. If you look at Ingram, it seems like he only gets better with age, Smitty. Yeah, you're so right. There's a case to be made that since he won the Most Improved Player Award in 2020, he's only continued Shoot to two. improve. His game gets more well-rounded every season. free throw good from Ingram you know I love that Brandon Ingram continues to grow his game we've seen him get better at moving the ball which only makes him more versatile on the floor Wagner's checked in for Ben Carroll both free throws good from Ingram 
Smitty, the injury bug has really played havoc with the Pelicans in the past. They have, B.A., and a lot of people have wondered what their past couple of seasons would have looked like if they've been able to stay at full strength. But all you can do is look ahead and hope for the best. Now here's Wagner. His last outing, we saw him score 13. Wagner, the pass to Wagner. The three. Rebounded by Ingram. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pass to Valanchunas. McCollum with it. Wagner picks him up. McCollum, a pass to Williamson. Back to McCollum. It's deflected. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. Wagner for three. He drops it from range. If that's what they want to do, get him open looks early. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Wagner. And Valanchunas with the bucket on the assist by Ingram. Valanchunas getting rewarded there for putting down a solid screen on the pick and roll. Wagner with a screen on Ingram. Wagner inside. Valanchunas covering. And it's Wagner missing. For New Orleans, they've gone 3 of 5 here in the opening quarter. Pass to Valanchunas. And here's Williamson. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Suggs, the pass to Wagner. Carter, a screen on McCollum. Wagner with it. He's picked up by Williamson. The three from Suggs. And again, it's the magic from deep. Beautiful find by Carter. Sees the floor really well for a young big. Jones, the pass to McCollum. Back to Jones. Pass to Ingram. Fires from deep. And it's Orlando with a rebound. An aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. Wagner with it. Wagner, right side. Harris against Jones. Wagner with a screen on Jones. Here's Harris. Valanchunas with a rebound. The Pelicans shooting about 43% since tip-off. Williamson passes to Ingram. Into the lane. And a slam dunk by Ingram. With those long steps, it takes Ingram very few dribbles to get to where he wants to go. Pass to Wagner. Charity stripe shot. And again, it's Orlando converting. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Valanchuna sets a screen. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third file this early. Fultz, he's checked in for Suggs. And the Pelicans making a change here. There's McCullough with the three. Connects from downtown. McCollum's got five. He can make this shot in his sleep. It is pure muscle memory for C.J. McCollum. Wagner finds Harris. Left side, Fultz. Just five to shoot. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Harris. Here's Ingram. Orlando grabs the miss. And here's Fultz. Pass to Wagner. Here's Carter. Covered by Ingram. 
Wagner outside. Let's go with a three. And again, it's the magic from Peep. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. McCollum against Fultz. Alan Chunas with a screen on Fultz. Here's McCollum. Here's Alan Chunas. And the dunk by Alan Chunas. Working the pick and roll so cleanly. CJ knows how to generate shots out there. Fultz against McCollum. Wagner outside. Pass to Harris. To the inside. Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. With the nine-foot standing reach, Carter has no trouble putting that away. Valanchunas with it. Alan Chunas with a screen on Harris from the line. Outside Ingram. Now here's McCollum. Alan Chunas with a screen on Fultz. Tries again. And Alan Chunas with the lay in. Alan Chunas has got six points. Orlando leading. Outside Fultz. And Trey Murphy is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. The Magic making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. And a change for the Pelicans. Alvarado's checked in. Carter from outside. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Here's Ingram. He has six. Alvarado outside. Valanchuna sets a screen. Four on the clock. The three is up. Back to Alvarado. Alan Chunas with a screen on Anthony. Here's Ingram. Here's Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. The persistence of Valanchunas paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. Now here's Fultz. Pass to Anthony. Wagner outside. There's the three. Alvarado with a rebound. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. And the bucket is good. And it's now just a one-point Orlando lead. It's so challenging trying to stop Zion. He's excellent at fighting off defenders. Anthony against Ingram. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's his first foul of the game. Matazes checked in for Orlando. One thirty six left in the first quarter. Wagner outside. Wagner with a screen. Five to shoot. Let's it go from eleven. And he hits the jumper for two. Wagner's got nine. I know it's early. But you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to Fultz. After the outside. Softly drops in the floater. And it's a five-point Orlando lead. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Back to McCollum. Nance with a screen on Fultz. McCollum with it. Fultz picks him up. Outside for Ingram. Floats a runner. Off the window, it's good. Ingram's got his third basket of the night. Showing some nice handles in the pick and roll. Ingram's creativity is fun to watch in these sets. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. After the outside. And it's Fultz off the drive. Matase with a screen. 
Anthony, the pass to Batadze. Count that one. And the Magic lead by five. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Ingram with the ball. And that one drops. He's got ten. You can't let Ingram get established down there. When he does, he burns you from him. It's been all about Franz Wagner for Orlando. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Magic. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. <laughs> you know, another thing that has impressed me has been their numbers of points in the paint, just dominating down there. They're just getting whatever shot they want in close. Grant, it's fair to say this Magic team is still coming into its own as far as the youth on the roster. Yeah, not a lot of NBA service time up and down the roster, but tons and tons of talent. I mean, they've done very well constructing the roster. Now to develop it, and they'll see the wins pile up. Okay, on the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. Alvarado and McCullum comprise the backcourt. Najee Marshall is out there with Larry Nance. McCullum's shot is off. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Leading by five. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. Pass to Anthony. Ben Carroll in the post. Alvarado defending. Ooh, Ben Carroll getting it done in tight. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Back to Alvarado. McCollum. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Here's Marshall. Off target from outside. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. Wagner outside from the arc. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Don't sleep on Van Carroll's ability as a creator. He wants the best shot possible, even if it's not his own. McCullum, the pass to Marshall. Pass to McCullum. To stop the run. It's rebounded by Wagner. Orlando has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. And Carroll no good. New Orleans has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. McCullum outside. Nance with a screen on Anthony. Here's McCullum. It's rebounded by Bataze. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. And Alvarado over to help. Fires for three. Bataze can't hit. The Pelicans have gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Zion Williamson is doing his homework. He said, quote, I watched a lot of old school players and I tried to figure out their mindsets. And all of their mindsets were the same. People remember winners. So whenever the time comes for me to be done with the game of basketball, I want them to say he was a winner. Guys, he's on his way. So true. Thanks, Allie. The Pelicans have gotten nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Nance with it. Working on Batase. McCullum outside. Pass to Alvarado. Now McCullum. He has seven. McCollum with another miss. 
He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after him. Now here's Ben Carroll. McCullum defends. Ben Carroll, no good. Beating right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. McCullum outside. Three-pointer. And Fultz pulls it down. The Magic have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Pass to Bataze. Anthony with it. And Carroll with it. McCullum defends. The shot. And it's Ben Carroll again missing. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Nance can't get it to go. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Ben Carroll outside. Mataze down low. McCullum defends. There's Fultz with a three. The kick out to Ben Carroll. To snap the cold streak. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist from Ben Carroll. And the Magic lead by 10. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. There's McCullum with the three. And the Pelicans miss again. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Anthony outside. There's the triple. Alvarado with a rebound. And New Orleans shooting about 41%. Undrafted out of Georgia Tech in 2021. Jose Alvarado forced his way into the rotation right out of the gate. Yes, he did, B.A. Undersized at six foot nothing. But his effort sets the tone. All his steals earning him the nickname Grand Theft Alvarado. Wagner for three. That shot, no good. Wagner's gone two of five from the floor. Marshall passes to McCollum. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Look at C.J. McCollum sacrificing his body and fighting for the and one chance. Smitty, what impresses you about C.J. McCollum's game as a ball handler? B.A., well, he's a terrific passer, but also a consistent scoring option. I'm impressed with how he balances those two aspects of his job. So Orlando ends up going with a new group. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Now here's McCollum. He's closely guarded. Pass to Williamson. Back to McCollum. Wagner against Ingram. Releases from 15. Nance. Great positioning on the putback. Ooh, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Wagner against Ingram. Picked by Carter. And it's Wagner off the drive. On the wing, Isaac. Pass to Suggs. Ingram against Wagner. And it's Larry Nance with a foul. That's his first foul. Okiki's checked in for Isaac. Here's Suggs. Defended by Jones. The three is up. And it's Suggs with the three. Suggs has got six here in the quarter. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Nance with a screen on Harris. Here's Ingram. It's hauled in by the Magic. 
Carter's got four rebounds now. Suggs, the pass to Wagner. Back to Suggs. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by Williamson. To the middle. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Williamson's got his second bucket of the night. And here's Wagner. He'll bring it up for Orlando. Shoots over Nance. And again, it's Orlando converting. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Ingram. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Ingram's got 12 points. The production from Ingram just keeps getting better and better. A guy who knows how to get buckets. Here Suggs. And again, it's Orlando converting. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Pass to Nance. Williamson left side. And the shot's good. We'll give him eight points now. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Now here's Wagner, guarding closely. Carter against Nance. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. That free throw, no good. Coming to the league ready to play. Carter is smart, he's versatile, and he's relatively polished. And the Magic making a change here. Bancaro's checked in. He's off on the second. Grant with the Pelicans, so many of the past few years have started with such high hopes. Yeah, B.A., and at the end of every season, it feels like there's a big what-if hanging over New Orleans. They haven't been able to catch many breaks in recent years. And their free throws have dropped off in this quarter. They're settling for too many jump shots right now. Carter, a screen on Ingram. Pass to Carter, and stolen by Williamson. Outside Jones. Here's Valanchunas. Over Harris. And Valanchunas gets it to go on the assist from Jones. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Here's Suggs. McCullum defends. Carter, a screen on McCullum. Here's Suggs. Wagner outside. Back to Suggs. Just five on the clock. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Suggs has got ten points in the quarter. He's lighting them up. Tough to strategize a comeback when you're being run over. Pass to Valanchunas. Now here's McCollum. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. And here's Carter. Carroll in the post. He's against Williamson. Here's Harris. Ben Carroll the screen. Harris passes to Ben Carroll. Boom! Ben Carroll! Saving the possession. Great energy from Ben Carroll on the glass. McCullum looking it over. And the layup falls. McCullum's got 12 points. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Carter, a screen on Ingram. Wagner, the pass to Carter. And again, it's Orlando converting. Shooting with confidence. Carter consistently hits jumpers from the post area and from mid-range. 
Ingram against Wagner. Alan Chunas with a screen on Wagner. Here's Ingram. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. 14 points for him. I like how Brandon Ingram weathers the inside coverage. Fighting his way to the bucket. And so it's the Orlando Magic. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. We'll be back in a moment. Thanks for tuning in. With half the game in the books, a bit of ground to make up for the New Orleans Pelicans. What's that old joke? I mean, these guys couldn't hit the water if they fell out of a boat. It applies here. They've been ice cold, Shaq. Kenny, I've seen your yacht. It's not a boat. It's a yacht. Thank you. Thank you, Shaq. But, you know, keep that on the low. Now taking a closer look at the first half, how about the performance from these two guys? I mean, this is exactly what we were hoping for tonight. Seeing these two go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, we've got a fight on our hands. It certainly has lived up to its billing. We'll see who blinks first. Hey, you, check. You and I should do that, too. Ready? Staring contest. Ready? One, two, three. You blink. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Here's Suggs. Wagner and Bancaro at the three and the four. Suggs runs point with Harris next to him. And it's Carter in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's out there for Orlando. Now here's McCollum. Nine-point game. Shot from the low block. And another basket for New Orleans. Good defense against Brandon Ingram, but he's crafty about creating just enough space for his shot. Pass to Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on Williamson. Down low. Carter against Valanchunas. Clock at six. Back to Ben Carroll. The three. Valanchunas with a rebound. Alan Tunis has got nine rebounds now. Now Ingram. Now Valen Tunis. Pounded by Harris. Kicks it out to Williamson. Pass to McCullum. Fires the three. Sinks it from distance. McCullum's got 15. Ooh. Hasn't seen a three he doesn't like. CJ takes a ton of them. Now here's Ben Carroll. There's Wagner off the drive. No good on the shot. Stumbling to start the second half. Three straight misses. Picked by Williamson. Ingram on the wing. Guarded by Ben Carroll. Ingram, pass to Valanchunas. Back to Ingram. Let's it go from deep. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It's going to be on Gary Harris. Shooting for New Orleans, Brandon Ingram at the line for three. And he's good on the first of three. Second free throw is good. The 
the last one's off. They'll settle for two. And so Bancaro will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Ingram against Wagner. Back to Suggs. And Carroll with a screen on McCullum. Here's Suggs. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Missed four straight shots now. At one point, do you have to call a timeout and regroup? Outside for Ingram. For the lead. Drops in the three. Ingram's got 21. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three timeout, from the timeout. field. Orlando calls timeout. Boy, without question, Brandon Ingram displaying his skills today. <laughs> they need to rethink their approach defensively. He's shown no signs of stopping. Here they come, a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Jonas Valanciunas. And he's been trending downward in terms of his average points per game. And a number of reasons can lead to this. But he needs to figure out how to get back on track. Suggs. McCullum defends. Wagner outside. Picked by Carter. To win the drought. Oh, it's blocked by Valanciunas. You see the length of Valanciunas on display with that block. Just went up and got it. And that one's good. Ingram. Adding to this lead. He's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Here's Suggs. He's got 16. Pass to Carter. Inside. Here's Ben Carroll. Oh, Ben Carroll working his magic. They have Ben Carroll covered inside, but he stays cool and gets his shot through. Williamson with a screen on Wagner. Ingram with the ball. He's picked up by Ben Carroll. Out of bounds. It'll be Orlando's ball. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. The Magic are still young, yes, but they are developing. Coach Small Mosley said, quote, we're close to getting over the hump. These guys understand that you just have to stick with that process, the growth. It's just the belief system that these young men are starting to grow into. He's really kept that positive environment. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Carter has screened on Jones. The shot is good. Harris has got his second basket on the night. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Pass to Williamson. Jones with the ball from behind the arc. Doesn't go that time. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. And what you like about Gary Harris, you can depend on him to make good decisions and always bring that energy. Yeah, no doubt, B.A. I mean, he's all about the team, willing to do whatever they ask of him. Can't have enough guys like that on your roster. Here's McCullum after the basket by Orlando. Pass to Williamson. Here's Jones. 
here's Ingram from the arc. He buries it from three. Ingram's got 12 points in just the second half. Beautiful pass by Jones, keeping his head on a swivel and creating the wide open look. And Carroll with a screen on Ingram. And it's Wagner off the drive. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got 11 rebounds in the game. And here's Ingram. He's got 26. Up top, McCullum. Puts up a deep three. Pelicans keep it alive. And he gets it to go. Alan Junis has got 12 points in the game. He usually shoots a high percentage in the paint. And on that play, Valanciunas got it done. Wagner against Ingram. Wagner, the pass to Ben Carroll. Oh, Ben Carroll throws it down. And now that's a momentum builder for sure. So important in a close game. Look at his teammates here. They love it. Plays like that going to get them going. They're bringing the energy, the hustle, the fight. And they also didn't give up on that possession. The shot by Ingram, no good. And so Ben Carroll will bring it up for the Magic. Now here's Harris. He's got five. Ben Carroll passes to Suggs. Back to Ben Carroll. From deep. Ben Carroll missing again. New Orleans has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. McCollum finds Ingram. Alan Chunas with a screen on Wagner. Here's Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Look how Ingram just bursts inside, disrupting the D and carving out a path to the dunk. Here's Suggs. McCollum defends. Here's Suggs. 16 points for him. The Magic need to put one up here. And Carroll. And it's Ben Carroll again missing. New Orleans in the lead. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Over Wagner. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 16 points here in the second half. Looking silky smooth there. I like watching Brandon Ingram use the mid-range area. And Carroll in the post. Covered by Williamson. And Carroll passes to Suggs. Back to Ben Carroll. Wagner up top. Pass to Carter. Shoots over Valanciunas. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. The Pelicans have gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. McCullum. Pass to Jones. Here's Ingram. Defended by Wagner. Kicks it out to Williamson. Here's Valanciunas. And yes, it's good. He's 7 for 8 now. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus 5 advantage for them. Timeout called the Magic. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort.
Kikaze is checked in for Orlando. Wagner comes in for Bancaro. Showing the numbers from last NBA season, the leaders in team steals. The Pelicans second. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risk and know when to go after opportunities for steals. Here's Wagner. He's guarded closely. Pass to Wagner. And he gets the bucket. Wagner's got eight. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Harris against Ingram. Good on the shot. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Orlando trailing here. Here's Suggs. 16 points for him. Pass to Wagner. Here's Bataze. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Suggs, no good. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. Valanchunas with a screen on Wagner. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Back to Ingram. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Here's a look at what's coming up for the New Orleans Pelicans. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And then on Sunday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Detroit to take on the Pistons. Orlando making some changes. Cole Anthony, he's checked in for Harris. And it's Fultz in for Suggs. Orlando's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Wagner. Knocks it loose. Wagner with a screen on Ingram. From the high post. And Wagner gets it to go. On the assist by Anthony. Ten points for him. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Ingram against Anthony. Williamson with a screen on Anthony. Oh, what a play by Brandon Ingram. Ingram's got 34. Nimble ball handling by Ingram, allowing him to beat the D and find his shot. Wagner outside. To the inside. Out to Anthony. And the layup is good off the glass. Anthony's got six points. Plays like that, so easy for him. McCollum finds Williamson. Valanchunas sets a screen. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Like the way that Valanchunas worked his way to the line on that shot. Never let the defender get comfortable. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for New Orleans. It's all about the mid-range game. It has been a real difference in this one. Taking what the defense has given, and it's been paying off. They're also doing a good job working the ball inside tonight. The defense has been struggling to slow them down there in the paint. throw drops to Valanchunas. He's a big man who plays to his strengths. Valanchunas offers a lot of grit and toughness. Paolo Bancaro, he's checked in for Orlando. Nance, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Alvarado comes in for Brandon Ingram. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Well, the Magic shooting 39% for the field in the third. Dance against Fultz. And Carroll outside. Anthony, the pass to Wagner. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. 12 points for him. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Alan Chunas with a screen on Anthony. Here's McCollum. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. 
you can tell what a determined score CJ is fighting through contact to convert Marshall he's checked in for New Orleans Jones comes in for Alvarado And McCollum, no good on that one. C.J. McCollum is the kind of player any team would love to have. He does so many things well. And Carroll, no good. New Orleans has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Pass to McCollum for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. McCollum's got 20 points. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Here's Anthony. And again, it's Orlando converting. Oh, very clever how he creates space against the bigger defender. And that's tough to do from the mid-range because help can come from anywhere, but he beats everyone to the punch. A big-time effort for Brandon Ingram, providing a lot of energy for the Pelicans. And that quarter was all about him, leading the comeback charge. Now they're up in this one. We'll be right back with you shortly. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. So for New Orleans right now, Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Larry Nance is out there with Trey Murphy, and it's Alvarado in at point guard. And they just continue to sharpen their offense here in the second half. Anthony against Jones, and Carroll with a screen on Jones. Up top, and Carroll inside. Oh, stolen by Nance. Here's Jones, and it's New Orleans with another. Herb Jones with great balance on that shot. Loves when he plays inside. Now here's Fultz. Alvarado defending. Basket's good. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Ingram up top. Ingles defending. Alvarado pass to Ingram. Here's Alvarado. The D's right on him. Ingram on the wing. Five on the clock. Nance with a screen on Ingles. Here's Ingram. Yep, that one goes. Ingram's got 38 points. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Now here's Anthony over Jones. Anthony misses. Under heavy duress, that's a low percentage shot. Gotta find something better than that. Here's Ingram. Orlando grabs the miss. And Carroll with it. And it's Ingram picking him up. Wagner, the pass to Ingles. And here's Ben Carroll. From the left block. And that one drops. And it comes off an assist from Ingles. We've talked about it before. Unselfish, great awareness. Ingles willing to turn down the shot if someone can break free. And here's Ingram outside. And the three-pointer goes. Ingram's got 41. Relentless in his approach. He has one thing on his mind. Close this game out. Wagner with a screen on Jones. Wagner outside. Fires the three. Nance pulls down the board. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep sense. Pass to Jones. Nance with a screen on Anthony. Jones, the pass to Alvarado. And another three for New Orleans. And what's working here? 
each guy is willing to make the next pass. Ingles is screened on Jones. Anthony in the post, working on Jones. Anthony finds Fultz. Drilled from 11 feet out. The Pelicans have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. New Orleans calls timeout. And this short amount of time should be beneficial to these players to catch their breath a little bit, while at the same time replenishing their energy by drinking some Gatorade as we head into the final stretch of this game. For the Magic, Wendell Carter comes in for Wagner. And Okiki subbed in for Ingles. And the Pelicans also making a change. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Nance. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. Despite the lead, coach was stern with the guys, mentioning to the team, do not let up. I've seen some big comebacks in this league, and this is not over. An interesting message. PA? Ali, thank you. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Pass to Valanchunas. Valanchunas sets a screen. And the Pelicans miss again. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Anthony misses. New Orleans has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Jones against Anthony. Jones, the pass to Ingram. Double team on Ingram. Let's the three fly. Pure from three-point range. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. The Magic have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Fultz with it. Pass to Ben Carroll. Anthony in the post. Defended by Jones. And there's the whistle. That one goes on Herb Jones. That's his first foul. Orlando making some changes. Wagner's checked in for Akiki. Harris comes in for Anthony. And Suggs is subbed in for Fultz. Williamson's checked in for New Orleans. C.J. McCollum comes in for Alvarado. And here are the Magic now. Down by 15. Back to Suggs. Just five to shoot. Ben Carroll the screen. Puts up a deep three. Suggs no good. Here's New Orleans now. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Williamson outside. Pass to McCullum. Over to the wing. Here's Valanciunas. That one rolls around and rims out. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Here's Suggs. And here's Wagner. Defended by Jones. Wagner inside. Valanciunas on him. And Wagner gets it to go. Against good defense, he finds just enough room to operate. Pass to Valanciunas. 
Now here's McCollum. Oh, stolen by Harris. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And subs the bucket on the assist by Harris. Harris has got five assists in the game. New Orleans has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Now Williamson. Over Van Carroll. And there's the rejection. The stuff from Van Carroll. Using that over seven foot wingspan. To the middle. Carter, the pass to Suggs. Picked by Carter. Clock at six. And it's Wagner missing. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Williamson looking around. Back to McCullum. Outside Jones. Over Harris. And the Pelicans miss again. Orlando has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Picked by Carter. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Wagner's gotten four this quarter. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Ben Carroll against Williamson. Over Ben Carroll. Ooh, can't throw it down with one hand. For Orlando, they've gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Harris against Jones. Harris passes to Ben Carroll. Puts up a three. Harris misses. And so it's Valanciunas who brings up the ball for New Orleans. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Nice work by Jones making the hot pass. Getting his team a bucket. And so here is Orlando. 11-point game. Harris finds Wagner. Six to shoot. And there's the drive. And it's Orlando with another. But the defense was certainly a little late in reacting to the step back. McCullum outside. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. Unbelievable hang time, giving the crowd its money's worth. Go ahead, Zion. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. The Magic have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. And here's Wagner. Pass to Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on Williamson. Here's Carter. Stolen by Valanciunas. Down low. Williamson. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Punishing slam by Zion. This is what you get for giving him a look at the rim. Up top, Ben Carroll. Covered by Williamson. Carter, a screen on Williamson. Pass to Suggs. Down to five on the shot clock. And there are the Magic with another bucket. So cunning and effective in screen and rolls. I really like watching Suggs operate in these sets. New Orleans has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Out, and the Pelicans call time here. Let's give Coach Sorry. credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing.
checked in for the Pelicans. One more time. Let's hear it for the 407 Vance team. Free throw, good from Ingram. That one's no good. And here's Wagner. He'll bring it up for the Magic. And Caro outside. Carter, a screen on Williamson. Here's Ben Carroll. Great D that time from Williamson. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll melt the clock a little. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Here's Suggs. Pass to Ben Carroll. And here's Carter. outside four on the clock launches a three Pelicans cleared away Valanciunas has got his 20th rebound here tonight and a comfortable win for them here game is out of reach time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the Pelicans you love how they push the ball at every opportunity yeah they really dictated the pace and it really paid off and so this win marks their first victory of the new year and against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Brandon Ingram. Throughout the night, he was their catalyst at the offensive end. Play after play was run through him with great success. Pass to Suggs. McCullum against Van Carroll. Back to Suggs. Launches it. Gets the three ball to go. Yeah, good to see Suggs bury the triple. This will only help with his confidence. Ingram against Wagner. Now here's Ingram. So New Orleans takes this one by a large margin. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Brandon, hot shooting for you tonight. Where do you get that confidence level to take over like this? Uh, this Coming in, working on my routine every single day. Uh, I think my teammates put me in a really, really good position to uh, step in the shots and give me confidence on the basketball floor to shoot the ball and also give them the basketball to do whatever they want on the floor to create and make something happen. So confidence comes from my teammates. And you've been a great teammate as well. Guys, back to you. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for